Okay, in this video, we're going to look at a few tips to try and find out if you've got a pressure problem, water pressure problem coming in, your mains water could be low, could be on the cusp of actually operating the shower or not, could be piped onto a gravity system, or it could even be piped onto a combination boiler, a heat system. Um, what we're going to need to do for, with this uh, today is we're going to need a PosiDrive 2 screwdriver. Uh, we're only going to need that to take out the screws. In this particular instance, you've got two at the top and one at the bottom that you need to take out so we can take the cover off and have a look what's happening inside the shower. Okay, um, how do we know it's low pressure? On this particular shower, you've got a low pressure indicator there, which is a mechanical indicator and if there's low pressure it will give you an orange background in the window. Some of the other showers that we do will be a light so if the light comes on it will be a low pressure indicator. Okay so if I power this one up we've got very poor flow coming out we've got no heat at all and we've got it's pretty difficult to see on the video but we have got an orange uh, indicator in the window okay so where do we start um, I've taken out the screws already what we'll do is we'll show you what's actually happening inside the shower I'll put the power back on again turn the power on put the switch on turn the shower back on again what's actually happening that part there is your mechanical indicator Normally, if it was working properly, that would be up in that position and you wouldn't see any orange in the window. Okay, so let's see what we can do now to uh, see what problem we've got. Okay, power's off. I'm just going to take the head off the hose. And all I'm going to do is just use a quick thumb or finger test just to put a restriction on the hose. What this will do, if we have got pressure there, but it's just not getting to the shower, what that will do, it will stop the outlet coming out, stop the flow coming out of the outlet, and this flag will actually start to lift. If that lifts, we know we're on the cusp of, of the low pressure, and we should have, be on the main system. If it didn't lift, we would be on a gravity system, okay? Let's just try it and see what actually happens. Now I've got my finger over the hose, and it's trying to lift up, which means, yes, we have got some pressure there. Okay, it still may not be enough to work the shower, but if you turn that round to the fully hot and don't demand any water, it's still lifting up. So we should be okay there. It just means that there's no pressure getting to the shower. That could be because A, your water pressure is pretty poor, or B, there might be an inline valve that is only partially open, or make sure your stop tap, your, as it comes into the property, is also fully open. So there's no blockages or restrictions in the, in the in the flow at all. The other thing I mentioned is it could be piped up to a combination system. How that would manifest would be you would get nothing but hot water out of the shower head. No matter where you put it, even on the cold setting, you would get hot water. Easiest way to prove that is just to feel the incoming connection. If that's hot, you're supplying it with hot water. I know it sounds strange, but it does happen. Okay, I had a quick hunt round and I found that one of the valves isolating to the shower was actually nearly shut. Okay, so what I did, I opened it up and we'll see what difference it actually makes to the shower. As you can see, the indicator rises very easily. That will then overcome the interlocks in there, the safety interlocks, and then you'll be able to provide heat to the heating element and use your shower accordingly. Okay, that's as easy as it is.